First, we want to take a look at shape and size. These are two of the most important characteristics that everybody comes to us with. The first thing they want to know is, what size do I need? And they also will add to that, but it can't be bigger than this, and it can't be thicker than that. Sort of help you get a lot, an idea as to how shape and size affect what you want, I'm going to walk you through what we did in picking our own blackboard nails. The nails that we use against blackboards. The first one that I made was this one. And I wanted one that was thick enough and large enough in surface area to hold up 10 or 15 sheets of paper. So I found the right magnet and had the pen designed to go with it. And so this is what I've been selling for about 13, 14 years, and it does a great job. But as we had this magnet, people started saying, I want one that holds up more. Well, you have two things you have to consider when you want to hold up more. Do you want to increase surface area a lot, or do you increase thickness? Knowing that we're pulling against a blackboard, a blackboard has very thin metal behind it. It doesn't have a thick piece of steel. So we don't want to use a magnet so large that it overdrives all that we can do. And I didn't want one too big, so I went with one this size. It's a larger diameter magnet, and it's a little thicker. So when this one goes against the blackboard, it does a really good job and holds very well. Of course, something else to keep in mind on the blackboard is sometimes you don't want it to make such a dent in the paper. So I had customers that asked me years ago, says, how can we get one that's not going to make a big dent in the paper? They may be wanting to hang their artwork at art galleries and stuff like this, which we've dealt with a, a wide variety of those customers. So we made this magnet. This one is our really thin pin 6000, and it has been designed to have a large diameter thin magnet. So it doesn't hold up as much as one like this, but it holds up with two or three sheets of paper very well, and it's such a large surface area, it doesn't crimp the paper. It just holds it. Then we had some people who really wanted to hold up something very heavy. Calendars. Sometimes they got a calendar they want to mount on their blackboard, sometimes or on a filing cabinet or whatever. And so we made one like this. We needed one with a good handle that they could grip with and pull it off, and it needed a lot of surface area so that it would stick well. These are our G Whiz magnets, and they have been very, very good as a product for us because a lot of people need a magnet that can hold up more weight than the little magnets do. And we even had one case where somebody wanted something that really looked cool, they wanted it made out of steel, and they were going to be hanging jewelry against a board. They wanted to be able to hold the board like this and have something that would hold it, and so that's what we used here. We used a solid steel piece, and we got a magnet in here that's the right the thickness and piece. diameter so that it holds up what they needed it to hold up, but it using the steel makes it have an even stronger attraction to the board, as you can tell. So there are many things to consider as you start looking at size and shape. The first thing we wanted to look at was things we went through when we designed our own. Now we're going to take a look at some other particular shapes of magnets.